for joining us for this special video presentation. I'm Stacy Ritter, President and CEO of the Greater Fort Lauderdale Convention and Visitors Bureau. While the COVID-19 crisis has been a dramatic and defining moment, here in Greater Fort Lauderdale, we are beginning our economic recovery. During this session today, we are unveiling some of the safe and clean protocols that our partners are implementing in order to create the safest experience possible for both you and your clients. We know that sanitation protocols will outweigh all other factors as travelers, and travel advisors make their destination decisions. So we are taking this very seriously, and that's why we invited a handful of travel industry leaders to review the sanitation protocols of our destination partners. We want to be fully transparent to show you what we are doing, what we have done, and find out what we can do better. First, we will unveil what travelers will experience once they land at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. After observing FLL's sanitation protocols, we will show you how Port Everglades is implementing important initiatives. Then, we will visit a few of our partners to see how they are working to maintain a safe and clean environment. To get us started, here's Tracy Vaughn and the rest of our Global Leisure Sales team. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tracy Vine, Senior Vice President of Global Leisure Sales here at Greater Fort Lauderdale. Although many travelers will choose to drive down to Greater Fort Lauderdale, those who come by plane will see that FLL is working to keep passengers safe and clean whether they're arriving or departing. As you know, Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport is the main gateway into our destination. So let's start at the beginning. Thank you, Tracy. Hello, my name is Mark Gale, Chief Executive Officer for the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. You know, COVID-19 has us all concerned these days, especially when it comes to travel. And one of our primary missions here at FLL is to make sure that you're safe traveling through our facility. So I'm gonna take a few moments to introduce you to some of the things that we're doing, to try to help you make sure that your experience through our facility is the best and the safest that it can be. From the moment you arrive at FLL until you board your aircraft to depart, you will see new signage reminding our travelers of the requirement to wear face coverings and maintain social distance. At the ticket counters and at other locations, you will see acrylic plastic shields for your protection. And throughout the airport, there are floor markings advising passengers to fly smart and stay six feet apart. FLL has partnered with the TSA to ensure that the passenger screening experience is safe and efficient with a minimal amount of inconvenience. But you'll notice that inside a checkpoint, very few of the, the TSOs have direct interaction with a, a, a passenger. You'll notice this gentleman coming through right now. He's going to take his, he's an employee, he's going to take his ID out. But you notice that our guy, uh, our TSO, did not really handle that ID. So typically what we're doing when we come through, uh, the TSO is just asking uh, the uh, passenger or the employee to hold the ID underneath the ultraviolet light there. Never leaves his hands. There's no transmission of the ID uh, uh, back and forth. Whether you order a grab and go sandwich or relax at one of our fine restaurants, you will see employees wearing masks, cleaning surfaces, and tables that are spread at least six feet apart. My name is Eric Hazeman. I'm the general manager with Delaware North Companies, and we run the concessions in Terminal 3 and in Terminal 4, and this is one of our operations, Zona Fresca. So, not unlike what you've seen, um, a lot of CDC guidelines we're following, local regulations we're following, mostly around social distancing first and foremost, and that's what you'll see visually mostly. You see the, the markers on the ground, the signage uh, reminders, we also have plexiglass dividers between our cashiers and our guests. Um, our credit card machines are out in front, uh, guest facing. Again, it's all about building a safe and secure environment that our guests are, are comfortable um, joining us in and, and having a meal with us um, on their way to their next destination. So 
So at JetBlue, we have our Safety from the Ground Up campaign, and, and it's something that we've been working on um, since the, uh, the, the beginning of the pandemic, and that is to look at every, every different aspect. And one of the most important aspects is the servicing of the aircraft and the service on the flight. I just want to talk a little bit of what Broward County has done for the airlines uh, in partnership um, to, to, to create some social distancing at the gate. We, you know, you'll see at the, in the gate area that uh, seats are marked off every other one to allow for some social distancing. On the floor right here at the, at, at the actual queue line for the gate and at the uh, queue line for the desk, um, we have social distancing markers. Uh, we also have the, uh, the sneeze guards, which BCAT has uh, implemented. Customers don't necessarily want to hand over their boarding pass or their phone. Back in the day, it was kind of taboo, but now customers are more apt to, to do that. So those are, these are some of the things that we've done in the gate area. I'd like to take you on board and see what we're doing on the aircraft. And what we found is that customers thought very highly when we kind of said, hey, look, we're not gonna, we're not gonna give a full service anymore because we, we want to reduce the touch points. And what we actually saw is our customer scores went up. So you're taking products away, but they also knew that it was in the, in the vein of safety. So now we're actually delivering a bag to the customers that has a bottle of water, a snack, uh, wipes for their seats and their hands. Um, so those are the things that, that we are as an industry trying to do to instill in our customers that we're trying to get customers comfortable with flying. Upon landing, you'll notice that uh, most airlines have have implemented processes where they're explaining the deplaning process. Might be a little different for every airline, but most are doing a few rows at a time to allow social distancing and allow just a few people in the aisles at one time to make sure that we can keep uh, uh, customers away from one another as we deplane. No longer the, the mad dash to get off, it's more of a, a relaxed kind of deplaning process that allows for the social distancing. Through the experience of walking to the baggage claim, you'll notice that most, most customers are adhering to the social distancing. And when they get downstairs, one of the things that we like to do is space out the bags just a little bit more for our customers to allow folks to come up, maintain social distance, get their bag and go. Again, small steps, but it's very important in maintaining that social distancing and also maintaining the spread of the COVID uh, virus. So as you can see, we've been very busy here at the airport. FLL is proud to partner with the Greater Fort Lauderdale Convention and Visitors Bureau, all the fine hotels and restaurants in our area, Port Everglades, and many, many more. When you're ready to travel, we will be here for you, knowing that it's a safe experience. But remember, when you come to the airport, if it's still required, don't forget to mask up and enjoy your travels. Next, we took a brief drive, only a few minutes down the road to see how the team and the cruise lines are making Port Everglades safe and clean.